Good afternoon. I am going to continue working on all of this. And, well, we didn't think we'd have to do a whole heck of a lot of work here to get our UI working properly, but apparently we do. So let's get started, shall we? Alright, so what's going on right now is a lot of the... A lot of the things that this is, a lot of what this is doing is, um, it's capturing all the stuff that we, we don't want captured. So what we really want to do is we want to kind of duplicate all these functions and um, call them ourselves um, differently. So we want to like, we don't want this viewport to actually I don't know. We don't want it to do what it's doing right now. Um, we want our other viewport to basically call this viewport after everything else is done. And like, I would have expected, you know, as as a child object, blah blah blah. We wouldn't have to do all this crap, but we do. So we will. Um, and kind of how we're going to approach this is we're going to duplicate all these functions and we're going to we're going to proxy them through our other classes so what we're going to do here is I'm going to take every single one of these and it's just going to it's just going to do a pass through. It's going to do absolutely nothing. And um, then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate these things and um, we're going to call them directly ourselves. So let's go to our H file and start doing some modifications to this thing. <clears throat> so this is going to be web browser viewport. That H. So 
So it's everything under here. So we now need to do all of our custom overrides for these things. So, we should be able to compile everything right now. And what should happen is we should not be able to interact whatsoever with our, with our WebKit window. It should just do nothing. So let's make sure that it actually does what we expect it to do, which is absolutely nothing. Like we shouldn't be able to click on any of the boxes, we shouldn't be able to do anything. And um, yeah, it should just, the UI should just be there, non-interactable and not working. <clears throat> But we should at least be able to move and everything else should be working properly. Yeah, we can't click on anything. Like, you know, nothing nothing works, which is exactly what should be going on here. Excellent. So what we want to do is... Um, For this Dashkin UI stuff, we want to proxy all the calls from our viewport like we have a game viewport client which is mouse enter, mouse leave.
So why don't we follow this stuff back out real quick um, from our input manager and see kind of exactly what's going on with this like on key stuff where we're actually passing it down. <clears throat> Because I guess my viewport client is not what I want. It's going to be something. Well, maybe it is. So on key is coming from this. We're going into S viewport. S viewport is going into scene viewport. Which is going into input key. viewport client. So we have the browser viewport and then we also have the web browser window How the hell do we even get this stuff? All right, let's look at the viewport client. So it's
Good afternoon, Santacron. I am <clears throat> trying to get the input stuff hooked up properly for WebKit. Things were things were capturing events that they shouldn't have been capturing and things like that. So I'm trying to basically see exactly what I need to override here. I think it's going to be Trying to see what is actually necessary for this stuff to work, and uh, it's pretty not. It's not straightforward. I I don't really because I'm dealing with Slate's stuff right now, and Slate is just obnoxious. There's just a lot of freaking random crap that I have to deal with in order to get this thing to work. So, well, I'm trying to figure this out. I, what I'm being frustrated with now is the I'm not able to actually override the things that I want to override. Like, there's this there's this slate viewport client stuff, and um, how we're getting constructed is not conducive to me actually getting called like I'd like. Oh, come on, get rid of this shit from my screen, please.
Report client on close requested. Uh, just this freaking UI that pops up over Visual Studio is just annoying as hell. So it looks like it makes a new window and all this sorts of sorts of stuff. Well, let's see if we can override the window. So there's a viewport class, player class, settings, level, script actor. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Karakin. Also, have a good night. Going to need some sleep if you're going to wake up and then watch Adam stream, right? So I don't see a good way to override all this stuff, um, which is unfortunate. So I'm still trying to figure out a way, basically, to make it so that all oh, this this WebKit window I don't want it to capture the input for everything. I just want it. I want it to be responsive and all this stuff, but I don't want it to um, be focusable in terms of, like, I don't want it to override all the focus for all the crap and all that, which is just not fun. Well, I mean, it's not, not fun. It just doesn't work. Which, a lot of this stuff was working, almost. So why don't I try that one more? Yeah, take care, care game. Um, I'm gonna try just one other thing here, which is
that's not what I wanted to copy. Like, the only thing that really wasn't working was, like, click and drag should be fine. I also hate ternator, ternary operators. It's like the bane of all existence. Like they're just they're just so fucking annoying. Like we don't want anything to be Consumed. But we could actually have, um, I wonder if um, this mouse capture stuff will actually work or not. Because I think the mouse capture stuff is like when you when you click the mouse button down um, and then you drag your mouse off and then you release, it'll like have the button up event or whatever. We want focus to be lost um, as soon as we lift the mouse up. So that's the thing is like uh, if I click on the web window then I cannot move anymore and certain interactions stop working entirely for the game. And it's only certain keys and it's really frustrating. Like all the all the keys on the keyboard work except for the left stick on the Xbox controller and the fucking arrow keys. <laughs> it's like well those are the exact keys I don't want being eaten by this webkit window we just need to proxy all these things into here um, How do we do that though? We need the screen itself. Damn, this sucks.
Like, I mean, this would be a lot simpler if they gave me, like, a real interface to deal with. Um, but, like... Well, what is our geometry? Um, like we, and what are our pointer events? Like, where do these come from? Can we recreate them? Because by the time we get to our code that we can actually customize, the damn things have been nuked. So my geometry is like the slate. Because we could, we could probably get the geometry stuff just fine. We would just get our top level window geometry and pass it in. The question is now, can we get the, do we actually get the mouse events? No, we don't. Not at all. Because like we have the in key event, hmm. I mean this would be solved basically if I could override the scene viewport.
So let's see if anywhere else this thing is actually created. So S level viewport. So we have landscape, level viewport, matinee track, animation sequence browser, texture editor, play level. GameEngine.cpp, create game viewport. Well, the other thing I could do is I could change the the client to always getting notified of what's going on and can handle it. So, um, let's take a, a look. Basically, if I went to the scene viewport, dot h, it's an f. Yeah. So, does anything do like? public F scene viewport. Anything actually override a, a viewport here? The answer is no, they don't. All right. Um, so the viewport has all these things on it, or all these slate functions that we want. And what we want to do is we want to be able to call Able to call things here. Hmm. Because we basically want to add. Add calls for all this stuff. So we've got all these functions kind of like uh, on mouse button down. Is it kind of a, 
a post call that we want is if if it's unhandled by these other things we want to do like a custom override handler and pass in just the raw data to the thing so it's basically like if if we reach the end of these methods and all of these things then um, then we will call our um, our viewport client hmm well it could work I mean, it's basically either we want the UI to always be there and to have that window have all the input, but we don't want that because we're doing some really screwy stuff. We just want to proxy proxy stuff over to, to our UI. So this is actually doing anything. It's it's actually taking a const mouse pointer event and all this stuff. Yeah, I can't just... <sighs> the problem is I can't just switch the freaking context back and forth like when you click on it or something because literally the UI will capture events and then send them back to the main thread. Like, next frame. It's just awful what it does and that's going to cause all sorts of hell.
So the other thing to do would be to, like if we can't override everything specifically, we can always edit the, the browser window and also fetch it. Because these key events and all this stuff is they're not actually that complicated like we've got like all this garbage here but really it's like on key up on key down um, How many of these do we actually call? Let me just write them down because it might be easier just to make these functions. So we got on mouse button down, on mouse button up. Um, cursor query. Doesn't look like it really does anything though. Mouse button up and down is called on mouse leave. On mouse enter isn't called on mouse move. On mouse wheel. So let's see, we have this double click and it's send mouse click event and send mouse click event. This is... <laughs> Alright, well that's just stupid. I think this is just a copy-paste of the exact same thing. So double-click is just click. So we got on key down. That is... that is called. On key up and on key char. On focus is on focus true and false. So we don't actually have to, we can just modify the CF web browser window and how we call it and we can have our input manager just call that stuff directly, seems like. So why don't we do that? So get rid of all this stuff. So basically just disabling how this thing normally works. And I think we changed the web browser viewport so that we could grab the web browser window. So we want to change iWeb browser window.
And what we want to do is we want to add a whole bunch of methods in here that, what do we want? The, Cold wind capture laws. It's basically all of these guys is what we want to override. So let's see, what does the on mouse wheel even, on cursor query even do? We don't even implement it. So let me start from the bottom up here, seeing what we would need to actually take to grab everything. All right, so for the key events, On key down, basically, it's the F key. 
in the key code. And get CF keyboard modifiers, which is oh man, these are all just a just a train wreck, aren't they? I'd have to basically create an input event. Might be easier to. Why the fuck don't they just give us the damn events? Like, it's just infuriating that they're their game viewport client stuff wraps all this crap up and explodes it. <laughs> 